Mr. Chairman, we have a few. Yeah, we have a few. We have a few. Uh, I, given uh, the presentation that was made just a few minutes ago uh, by our consulting engineers, I took the liberty of going through and itemizing all of the warrant articles that are currently available to us. I'll pass these out. If we, if we look at the total, including the $15 million that was talked of, and the, uh, that includes everything that a draft warrant article is, is under consideration for, um, there's a total of $29,042,605 contained in these articles. Um, total warrant articles recommended was $22,462,520. Total to be raised by taxes is $1,504,699. And the total to be used for unassigned fund balance is $200,000. The total for special revenue funds is $221,814. And the total for, from state funds is $316,231. And the total for bonding is $17,500,000. Basically, this represents a cut from this year of $2,046,361 decrease on the number of warrant articles to be recommended to be approved. Um, when we're looking at bonding items of this large, we know that two years down the road, we're going we're to have a kick in of that material for taxes. And uh, for a $15 million bond article, that represents uh, $750,000 dollars in principal per year and in the first year $28,700 in interest at the current rate of bonding at the municipal bond bank, which is very nice. I'd like to find some borrowing myself at 2.67 percent, but that's what it turns out to be. So uh, as I go down through these, I'm going. you'll note that on the chart there are zeros besides those things that we're not recommending. The Church Street Force Main it was four million two hundred and forty-two thousand dollars recommended zero. Bicentennial Seawall is estimated at two million five hundred thousand uh, dollars for replacement, subject to the receipt of uh, the bids that are currently out. But that's the estimate that's recommended. The wastewater treatment plant bond of fifteen million dollars that represents seventeen million five hundred thousand dollars in future obligations, not in this particular year. Non-money articles, uh, the all-service veterans credit, the harbor dredging and restoration article, which is more a federal uh, and state item, Keno, election of officers, and zoning articles, of which we will believe, believe there'll be from seven to eight of those articles. Uh, annual appropriation articles, which are done every single year, uh, recommending conservation land acquisition fund at $20,000, which is the same as each year. The household has its waste collection, which in the past has been 15,000. We're recommending 10,000 because we've been underspending that sum this year and the year before. Uh, the human service agencies, right, and we're still waiting for one to come in, are currently at $171,475. Uh, the highway block grant uh, had originally been pegged at $565,001 recommending that only the state portion, $316,231, be used and no town funds be appropriated for that. Uh, the Police Forfeiture Special Revenue Fund is $90,000, of which no funding is, is, is tax-based. DPW of Vehicle Purchases of $522,000. Recreation Infrastructure Special Revenue Fund, that's repairs to recreation facilities, is $131,000. $814. The Road Improvement Capital Reserve Fund, which we do every single year, is $300,000 from taxes. Sidewalks, $50,000 from taxes. Fire Department Pickup Truck, $51,000 from taxes. That's a net total of, uh, of all the articles is $1,916,290. Uh, recommended to be appropriate is $1,124,475. Uh, as we go over to construction appropriation articles, we have the five corners intersection improvements at $600,000 recommend zero. 
sewer aeration basin and clarifier rebuilds two hundred and fifty thousand dollars recommend zero because it's in the fifteen million uh, maintenance of historic structures twenty thousand dollars those sums to be taken from uh, surplus or on designated unassigned fund balance uh, molten road sewer replacement one hundred thirty one thousand seven hundred dollars recommend zero tuck field offices and storage six hundred and seventy five thousand dollars recommend zero Replace highway DPW garage lighting, $30,000, recommend zero. Lock road sewer replacement is $337,615, recommend zero. Replace solid waste compact is $60,000, recommend zero. Now of those, the uh, highway lighting, uh, talking to the DPW director, he's going to take gradually out of the out of funds that are available in the highway budget. And the solid waste compactor of $60,000, we're looking at the end of the year and hope that we'll be able to bring in sufficient funds left over in the highway budget to purchase that this year with the board's permission. So it would not be there next year. So the total construction appropriation articles represent, that was submitted, represent $2,104,315. We recommend the total to be appropriated from taxes to be zero and the total from the unassigned fund balance to be $20,000. Lease purchase equipment. Uh, the fire department has requested a tower bucket ladder truck uh, over a five-year lease purchase, which is $1,500,000, and would be a, a lease purchase annually of $280,224. Articles paid from unreserved fund balance. Beach street lighting, $100,000. That's a continuation of a prior program. Total to be appropriated from taxes zero. Total from the unassigned fund balance one hundred thousand dollars. <coughs> so there's no tax impact. Our study articles and engineering articles. Uh, study town flooding issues one hundred thousand dollars. That's an appropriation item. Kings Highway drainage system, uh, and that's for engineering design. Eighty thousand dollars recommended to be funded from the unassigned fund balance. So the total of those articles is $180,000. The total to be appropriated is $100,000. Funds from Capital Reserve, reconstruction of a portion of Lafayette Road, $1,500,000. To be appropriated from taxes, zero. We have $1,500,000 in the in, uh, Capital Reserve Fund, which would pay for that. So the total amount for all of that to be from appropriated from taxes would be $1,504,699 down from this year of $3,551,060. That's kind of our analysis of what we'd like to recommend to the board for your consideration. A lot of work. Good job. It is a lot of work. Um, I think it's a great, great job, Fred. Um, I just have, obviously, the wastewater treatment plant, I see the necessity of it it's scary it's oh, it unsafe is. conditions for workers and if they say and it can't fail but you know what keeps help what if one of those things stops spinning or something it's very it's a huge item it needs to it needs to be done but 15 million dollars big it is so but it's based upon a 41 million dollar principal and interest cost to do it all right so Are we gonna? Do you think is the board ready to vote on these bonds tonight? No. Okay. Oh, I don't so. think so. No. All right. Um, but yeah, I think this analysis that you've done has uh, proven <coughs> that you are trying to uh, eliminate as much as the tax burden for this uh, upcoming town meeting we have, and it's an excellent job. And we just can't be all things to all people all the time. Right. I mean. I, uh, I know that we need to do, for instance, uh, the Molten Road and the Lock Road uh, sewer replacement. Both of them are um, obsolete sewer lines and they need to be replaced. But frankly, if I can't process the sewerage right. at the plant, I can't very well afford to get it there. So I've got, I had to make the decision of which one comes first, the chicken or the egg. Right. And I guess the egg came first in this case. And hopefully that's right. That was my, my question exactly. I mean, 
you, you look at all the ones under the construction appropriation articles that you, that you recommend zero on, and and I don't disagree with you. I think before we start going out and doing all this stuff that is going to need to be done eventually, right? We need to make sure that where it's going has the ability to accept it. It's kind so of a bottom you, line. You got to start someplace, and I think starting at the plant is correct. Rick. You know, I think we have to just fine tune these figures a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah these are just first glance, give you something to, to work with. Uh, not to say that these are final recommendations. Uh, you're right. You need to think about them. You need to think about the consequences of each one. And you need to come up with your best decision knowing what's going on in the community, which the board does, of what needs to be accomplished for the benefit of everyone in the town. At the same time, trying to balance the tax rate so everybody can continue to afford it and in the long run pay for the improvements we have to do. <coughs> Bill? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Welsh, thanks for that uh, orientation uh, and that data. Uh, very nice job. And it's interesting to look at last year's warrant. There were um, 24 money articles on the warrant, 19 passed, 5 failed, including uh, the, the big uh, four sewer main which we see again this year. Uh, interestingly, we had four union contracts that were on the ballot last year. Three failed and one was passed. So it's interesting to go back and look at that. We will have some union contracts. At least three. We'll have three coming up on that uh, again this year. Certainly the three that uh, didn't make it last year. So that historical perspective is important. And we had talked about um, the analysis with finance. We had talked about Plodznik uh, kind of plussing up their contract. I know that's that's imminent. And then we can um, better educate the public, warn the public about what this looks like, and actually do that, that graph of how our tax rate looks like over the future. Uh, incorporate that into our uh, current bond schedule. And I, I think an educated public, um, as generous as they were last year, um, not so much for the three contracts that didn't get approved for the union folks, but um, 19 to 5 is a pretty pretty good success rate. Plus, they did a, a school. Um, so um, they were, the, the taxpayers invested in themselves quite a bit. And with this new uh, public works, with our GASB, and an education process as part of that, I'm looking forward to that. Plodznik input, If I think the board had a consensus on that. And then we look at that data. We share that with the budget committee. Um, and the budget committee gets plussed up and we get much more scientific about it and your your contribution tonight was a very good start thank you mr. chairman thank you it, it, it's a good report and it's a good thing I have a couple of questions certainly no, human service agencies yes were we requiring them to to give us an update on uh, on how that money spent and stuff I mean how we, we do keeping... half this book is from them okay so we are keeping a good track of, of the, those agencies we require the them to submit a request for the appropriation and, and explain to us where the money is projected to go and as their annual reports are, are uh, published that where they're required to give us a copy of that report for our records right, right. and the, the other the only other one I had a, a question on was five corners intersection improvements I mean I realized that we got the big money issues this year and we can't oh, do yeah. everything but didn't we do a study on the accident rate down there? Yeah, it's the worst accident rate in the town. In fact, it's getting close to the worst accident rate on a town road in the county. So it's 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 one that we continue to have accidents on, and eventually something will have to be done somehow to, to align that. So, uh, you know, even if we don't do, let's say, the, the we're still thinking of trying to do something down there yes. to alleviate those problems, because that's a yeah. disaster. It can be very quickly. Yeah, I mean, driving down there is, is horrendous. So, I, so I, no, I think you did a great job. I think it's good. I think we do need to look at it. I think, like Rick said, Absolutely. we need to uh, trim it up a little bit maybe or look at it. But uh, I think the issue, the, you know, the wastewater, the flooding, there, there are some issues that just have to be addressed. Yeah, they're immediate and they're life-threatening in many cases. Yeah. I will tell you that that five corners has come up every year from the 12 years I've been here. Yeah, no, it has. That's why it's on here. And there's people that are going to, would love to see that happen before they go on to the next. The better life, yes. shall we say. When their problems are over, they still like to see that right. taken care of before they go. Yeah, right. I, I know a lot of people have mentioned to me that they take their heart in their throat every time they drive through the intersection, not we knowing what's going to happen. 
Somebody's coming this way, somebody's going that way. Nobody knows how to drive. Hopefully they don't meet. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank we'll you, bring sir. This, keep bringing this up and keep thinking about it and talking about it.